Welcome to how to complete basic dispatch course. If you did not watch the previous episodes, I highly recommend start the course from the beginning and watch it till the end for your best understanding and knowledge. So let's look at broker carrier agreement part. Uh, basically, there are two types of agreements that we can sign with brokers. First, uh, the most common is going to be PDF one. That's where you're just going to have a PDF file sent by the broker to you. You'll have to open one of the programs uh, that we use to edit it. Um, put the information about the carrier. That one you can find in the previous documents that we already talked about, uh, the carrier packet. For example, um, all of the times in whatever agreement you're going to be filling out, brokers are going to be asking you for some basic information about the company. That's going to be uh, the company name, the type of business they're doing, then uh, their EIN number, their employee number, uh, their address, and just the signatures. So whatever carrier signs the agreement with us, he authorizes us to sign agreements on his behalf with the brokers and shippers, right? So you can put just initials of, um, of his name and his last name. That's it. Um, coming back. So whenever you're filling out this agreement, you refer to information from the carrier packet just to make it happen. As you see in this case, the carrier name, carrier MC. If we go below, you're going to see they're going to request you to place information about uh, his company, like address, EIN number, and so on, so on. Uh, there might be other things that they request, like quantity of trucks that company has and all of that. But that's something that uh, I'll help you out with <clears throat> when you're going to fill out the agreement first time. And second type of agreement, it's going to be the online version. With online version, um, it's very simple. Just follow the steps, follow the instructions, and you're going to fill that out. But again, refer to information in the carrier setup uh, package and that's all you're basically going to need. Consists of four necessary documents. Certificate of Authority, COI, Certificate of Insurance, W-9 form, and NOA, Notice of Assignment. All of those documents are needed to book a lot with any broker we're going to work with. So that is why every time when we set up carrier, besides the agreement that they have to sign with us, they also 